It was said in the film, there are too many people consuming too much for a finite planet to endure. And that's what we're living through right now. But the thing about technology, we all love technology. It's what's, what's got us to where we are in the good and bad ways. But one of the things I learned from systems theory is often the thing that is your strength becomes your downfall. So our ability to continually overcome problems with technology eventually does reach a limit. And I think we're in that time now. You know, if we only had, let's say, 7 million people consuming at this level, we'd probably be okay. You know, if we would have stopped at 3 billion with the consumption we had in the 60s, we would have maybe bought ourselves another 100 years. But we just don't stop. And so it's a combination of technology, the consumption, population, that, 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 that really does it. And, and we've, we've got to, you know, it's tempting to oversimplify this, but we've got a big task. I think Flynn's example, you know, we don't know how to do steady state. We've lost the ability. We're so far gone with thinking about growth in all areas. Uh, but that's also an opportunity. What would it be like to build a rail system that would get us by the next few hundred years through this bottleneck so we didn't have to drive and fly everywhere? You know, we're not thinking about what would be sustainable and help us through this. Uh, we're thinking about, you know, let's have all electric cars. You know, millions of, 100 million electric cars on the planet is not going to be any better than 100 million more gasoline cars. It's just the same story of growth.